Hey, what's up guys? It's Jake Hall, the Manufacturing Millennial, and we are in the middle of the season of giving, but also receiving what we want on our wish list. And for the longest time, I wanted to have a robot behind me on my Industry 4.0 manufacturing workbench. I got a industrial 3D printer, I have a bunch of fun models, a bunch of fun products, and uh, a robot was one of those things that I wanted to add to the list. Now, a lot of times industrial robots are pretty expensive and they're large. So my opportunity to have one behind me uh, was pretty small. Now, I was able to find a robot company about a couple months ago and I reached out to them and said, hey, do you mind giving me a robot to play with? And lo and behold, Elephant Robotics said, sure. So they sent me their My Cobot Robot. Now check this thing out. This thing is, is tiny. I can't explain to you um, how tiny this thing was. I'll just like, you know, putting it next to me and you physically seeing um, the size of this thing. So this is the My Cobot with the M5 stack. Now the M5 stack is a module that goes in the front of this guy, which is a touch screen where you can uh, do all of your programming and interaction. But in addition to that, this guy has a Raspberry Pi built into it. So there's a few different models. One is a full-blown Raspberry Pi, and then the other option is this digital touch screen. Now for me personally, I am not a big programmer, and when they said, well, hey, you don't need to program, you could just simply move the robot around, hit save and hit play, and the robot will do exactly that. Well, I said, absolutely, sign me up. Now, this guy is tiny. It's a six-axis collaborative robot, and in the collaborative sense, it's not one of those things where um, it's a full force feedback that we're used to in the manufacturing space, but if I did my own risk assessment, I said, you know what? The servos on this guy are not going to pinch or hurt me. I think we're okay. It's a collaborative robot. The other really cool thing about this is we do have our full six axes. We have our J1, our J2, J3, J4, J5, and then J6. Now, the cool thing about J6 is it is a fully continuous uh, joint here. Now, the payload on this guy is... 850 grams it's not like the industrial collaborative robots that we see out there that you know start out at a 5 kg payload and move all the way up to 2000 kgs those things you know start at twenty five thousand dollars this guy we're at six hundred dollars so keep that in mind the specs and capability of this guy compared to an industrial robot are not the same thing. But this isn't meant to be an industrial robot. This isn't meant to be in a manufacturing space where I view this as hobbyists like me who like small six axis robots, who wanna play with it, who wanna do basic programming and have a kit that we can already program and use. This guy's perfect. But in addition to that as well, I view this as an opportunity for inside you know, classrooms and stuff where you're able to teach kids about the ability, you know, the basics of robots, the basics of programming multi coordinated moves and positions. This guy's great. Now, the other thing that I absolutely love about this guy, and you're going to love this, get check this out it's Lego compatible. That's right. So the base of the robot and also the end of arm tooling itself are designed to interact with the Lego Technic one by one pegs. So in addition to doing your own end of arm tooling, they send you a couple options as well. This is their gripper position, which is also Lego compatible. So you can take the Lego studs, connect them to the gripper, connect them to the robot, and you're up in programming, just attach the three wire adapter. In addition, they also give you a pneumatic suction cup option as well. So if you want to do some pick and placing that way of some chips or some other components with uh, suction, you can do that. Now, after you have the My Cobot mounted, there are several ways that you can program it. The first is learn by hand, and that's what I used, where you can simply set the robot up, teach it its positions by recording those moves, getting those positions back through the encoder feedback, and then go ahead and hit play through the RAM or through the flash, and the robot will repeat the exact moves that you taught it in the capable speed of those joints. 
In addition, you have the ability to program it via Arduino, and you can also use the ability for using my Blackly or their software like MindPlus or UIFlow. And then if you're really an advanced user, you have the ability to do uh, Python, C++, C Sharp, and also JavaScript. So really, from the very basic to the advanced, there's a lot of programming options you can do with the MyCobot. One of the first applications that I wanted to test was hooking it up to my 3D printer. So after my model was completed and printed, my robot was able to go over, grab the component, set it on the desk, and then if I wanted to, I could have another one printed and running right away. So almost running a typical manufacturing lights out operation. Well, that's the summary I have for the MyCobot 5. Thanks again, Elephant Robotics, uh, for sending me this robot to play with and test with. I had a lot of fun, and I'm going to have it permanently mounted behind me. So if you're in meetings or for future videos, uh, I hope the, you guys get to see this in the audience and up and running. Now, once again, this is a phenomenal robot, I think, for classrooms. Or if you want a little bit more of an expensive hobby toy, the, uh, the MyCobot's a really fun device that's simple to use. Um, now, if you go on Elephant Robotics websites, there's a lot of other options as well. Like I mentioned, there's the fully programmable Raspberry Pi version as well. There's some larger Cobots with a larger payload than this guy and also a smaller guy. This is the middle size. But in addition to that, they also have some AGVs and AMR options. So if you want to continue to build up your own little uh, automation robotics lab in your basement or in your startup lab, I would say take a look at this as an option. But until then, uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.